When setting up your Wi-Fi network for the first time, there are some simple steps you can take to boost your security, right from the get-go. After all, why risk a cyber attack if you can prevent it? Let's begin with what you're probably the most familiar with, your password. Using a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and other symbols are often recommended, but it's actually the password's length that's the most important part. Keep your passwords long and avoid using words or numbers directly related to you, such as your birthday or a phone number, as those are easy for hackers to guess. Moving on to network encryption, WPA3 represents the latest generation of wireless network security and is an improvement on the widely popular VPA2 standard released in 2004. WPA3 uses longer encryption keys and uses simultaneous authentication of equals, also known as Dragonfly Key Exchange, as authentication for the Wi-Fi network. This makes it more resistant to offline decryption and therefore more secure. Bear in mind that WPA3 isn't compatible with all devices. Luckily, you can still use it in mixed mode, which will let unsupported devices fall back on WPA2 encryption. Next is the choice between a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band or a 5 GHz one. 5 GHz gives out faster internet and a stronger signal but at a reduced range. More importantly, 5 GHz is not as good as 2.4 GHz in penetrating walls, making it more difficult for outsiders to access your network and more secure as a result. Lastly, some routers have quality of life features that promise an easier user experience such as WPS and UPnP. WPS is a feature meant to simplify how devices can connect to your network and UPnP automates the creation of ports on your internet connection. Unfortunately, such features also make your network less secure, so we recommend disabling them. And there you have it. Follow these easy steps when setting up your Wi-Fi and your network will be better protected from online threats. Leave us a comment if you got any questions and check out other videos to learn more about keeping your network secure. And until next time, stay safe.